I noticed that quite a few of you have been sending me requests for a Zendaya house tour and the young star does have a pretty impressive Northridge mansion she purchased all by herself with her hard earned money. So here it is. Zendaya's $1.4 million home is her first real estate purchase ever, but it checks all of her boxes and according to the star, she's always dreamed of owning a house like this. It's a gorgeous two-story home that actually has stairs, something she never had growing up. But we'll give you all the details of her starter home in this vid. Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman, who goes just by her first name, is an actress and singer who began her career as a child star, which you probably know. At the time of this recording, she's only 23 years old, but already has accomplished so much. Zendaya began her career as a child model and backup dancer before she landed her starring role on Disney Shake It Up alongside Bella Thorne. After that, the rest was history. Since her Disney Channel days, Zendaya scored some film roles in movies like The Greatest Showman and the latest Spider-Man films in 2017 and 2019. Not to mention, she's been working on a music career too. Zendaya began recording songs independently and released a few singles before signing with Hollywood Records in 2012. Her self-titled debut album made it to the Billboard 200 chart too. With Zendaya's growing success, she's built up an estimated net worth of 5 million already and she's only in her early 20s. That being said, she gifted herself her very own house in Cali just north of LA a few years back, which set her back over a mil. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys have been requesting one on Zendaya, so that's exactly what I'm doing today. We're gonna take a look at her beautiful million dollar starter home in Northridge and all the things she loves about it. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Jojo Siwa and Halsey and we'll have links to those at the end of this. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm gonna be responding to some at the end of this. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. Let's get a little bit of background before we see Zendaya's house. Although we don't know what her childhood home or homes looked like, we do know she never lived in a big house. According to the star, her upbringing was very humble to say the least. Zendaya was born and grew up in Oakland, California, which is a west coast port city and the largest city in the East Bay region of the San Francisco Bay Area. It's a different vibe from Los Angeles and Hollywood, but she's always been a California girl. Zendaya is the only child to her parents, mother Claire and father Kazembe, but her dad had kids from his pre previous marriage. Her mother worked as a house manager at the California Shakespeare Theatre, and that helped Zendaya realize she wanted to be a performer. She moved to Oakland School for the Arts and starred in a handful of productions too. Although Zendaya's parents are divorced now, she's still close with both of them. She was able to follow her dreams from a very young age, in which I'm sure her mom and dad encouraged. And look where she's at now. Zendaya's current home is a serious upgrade from where she used to live, but she has no complaints. When Zendaya spoke with Allure magazine, she said the neighborhood she grew up in in Oakland Oakland was not so amazing. She explains, I'm from Oakland, humble beginnings. I have two parents as teachers, so I've never lived in a two-story house or a house with air conditioning or a house with a pool, so this is crazy. I have a staircase. It's like the Cinderella spiral staircase. I actually have one. Zendaya mostly grew up in apartments as she's talked about living with her dad in one back in the day and clearly she said she's never lived in a house with more than one floor. Once you see her current million dollar home in Northridge, you'll understand why she's so impressed. We are too. Despite Zendaya's success, she doesn't forget where she came from. In fact, she still goes back to Oakland to visit, like when she visited her Fruitvale Elementary School, where her mom Claire worked for 20 years. Zendaya went for Project Lead the Way, which is a nonprofit that brings hands on learning experiences to the class. I'm sure all the students were super excited to meet her too. Zendaya said, it's awesome, this is my home. I was born and raised here, so it's always fun to come here. At the young age of 20, Zendaya bought her first home and it's pretty damn gorgeous for a starter home. Let's take a look at her mansion. I always kind of play, you know why? Because um, my house is basically empty. I'm still trying to figure out how to furnish it. This whole adult thing is like, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of pressure. I'm like, I permanently have to own this couch? Like I have to have it forever? <laughs> this Mediterranean style home is newly rebuilt and located in Northridge, California. Northridge is considered the north of LA, so Zendaya is away from some of the Hollywood craziness. It's a neighborhood in the San Fernando Valley and the home of the California State University. However, there's still a lot to do and it's an ideal safe and central location. Zendaya bought this place for 1.4 million and gave fans a peek on her app 
where she did a walkthrough house tour describing her favorite parts of her home. But not to worry, if you didn't catch a tour on her app, we're gonna show you all of it now. Zendaya's starter mansion is 4,155 square feet of living space and has five beds and five baths. A perfect amount, one for each guest. The entryway of her home is detailed with custom iron doors, a grand entryway, and vaulted ceilings. Zendaya says her fave part is the impressive peninsula stairway, which like I mentioned before she refers to as the Cinderella spiral staircase. I can understand why she likes this feature so much considering it's the first house she lived in with stairs. As you probably know, the star also has her own clothing line, Dea by Zendaya, so she needed plenty of room in her new home for her clothes. Not to worry because the master bedroom has a huge walk-in closet with plenty of space, as well as a fireplace, a vanity and powder room, and large walkout balcony. That doesn't include the ensuite bathroom either. In Zendaya's master bath, it's all marble and there's an enormous standing tub which definitely is the centerpiece of the room. Her whole master suite looks ideal for some relaxation time when she's not busy filming and working. Throughout her home, there's ambient lighting making it perfect for photo ops and selfies. We also know Zendaya has been hosting her family, friends, and holiday parties at her Northridge pad, so the lighting sets the mood. Zendaya's mansion has a gourmet chef kitchen with marble backsplash and built-in appliances. There's a center island with space to cook and snack. That is if the star likes to cook. Now anybody who knows me knows I am not a chef. I don't cook ever. There's separate dining, living, and family rooms throughout the home too, of course. On the main level of the home, French doors lead out to the expansive yard and patio. Aside from the grassy lawn, there's also a built-in barbecue with a tiled bar, as well as a beautiful blue pool and spa. Shortly after she bought the home, Zendaya said she filled the pool with floats like a donut and a big white swan. She told Allure magazine, It's the ghetto off-brand swan, not the fancy one that was all over Snapchat and Instagram. I don't have the Rihanna swan, but I'm getting there. Since she got settled, Zendaya has put in even more work into her home and it's noticeable even in the yard. When you walk in the backyard, the gate is lined in red flowers and she seems to have lemon trees out there too. There are other fruit trees and blossom trees all over as well as an additional seating area in the garden. It seems like Zendaya loves being a homeowner and has definitely gotten comfortable with living in her Northridge house. What did you guys like best about her place? I love the classic look as well as her backyard and garden. So we've looked at Zendaya's million dollar plus home in Northridge and got to know the reasons why she loves her property so much. Since this house is Zendaya's first one ever, we don't have any past houses to compare it to. She has rented out some gorgeous places when she was abroad though, so I'm sure the star already developed a taste for the finer things, at least a little bit. For example, when Zendaya was in Brazil, she stayed in a four bed and four and a half bathroom mansion that spans 10,000 square feet. This Airbnb property is a villa worth a massive 18 mil and is called Casa do Luz. The getaway home is mostly made of glass, has a light design, and sits right on the mountainside in a tropical jungle. It sounds like a dream to me. Not to mention it has 40,000 square feet of land around it. Although it'll cost you three grand a night to stay here, Zendaya was hosted by Airbnb, but she didn't take the offer all to herself and invited her family to come along and enjoy the perks with her. It seems although Zendaya is super successful, she's still humble and love sharing her fortune with her loved ones. Not only does she bring them along on vacations, but you can see from her social media she has her family over at her mansion a lot, whether it's a holiday or just a hangout. I'm sure Zendaya's million dollar home would get lonely if it was just her all the time. I too love having company in the house. And dogs. Or it's just too quiet. Zendaya is still young and I'm sure she'll invest in some more real estate soon enough, but she's happy where she's at. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. Keep them coming because I love hearing what you guys have to say. On our Johnny Depp house tour, Catherine Fry said, Johnny Depp is a great actor and it seems like he mismanaged a lot of his funds, but wishing him the very best always. On our recent Jessica Simpson before and after video, Kara A said, OMG, another Kara, I love to see my name being continued on in the millennial generation. I am a young gen, 1978. Kara is so rare and I never understood why because it's a kick ass name. Never met an ugly, fat or stupid Kara. I love Jessica by the way, thanks for being kind to her, I even think she was adorbs as a chubby pregnant woman. She looked healthy. Thanks for the fun comment fellow Kara, it definitely is a rare name. I like it too because it's so short and sweet. I love Jessica too and it was easy being kind in the video, she's inspiring and so gorgeous. And on the same vid, Karen Stuff said, 
I'm a new subscriber and one thing I've noticed is that you seem to be really kind. Most channels like this are so petty and snarky. Thank you for being kind. I feel like this will be a channel I keep watching. Welcome new subscriber, that means a lot to me. I definitely want to be known for being nice because celebrities get trash talked every day out there. That being said, I hope you do stay watching. Alright guys, that's all I could find on Zendaya's first home purchase in Northridge. What did you guys think about her place? Did you like it or no? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye!